Hello everyone, let us discuss Slovin's formula. Ang Slovin's formula is used to compute for the sample size in a study given our total population and margin of error. Kasi in a study, we have our population. Ito yung entirety nung kinukuhanan natin ng ating data. Pwedeng isang school, isang city, isang barangay, and so on. Tapos meron tayong kinukuha na sample sa kanya. Kasi it will take us a lot of effort and resources as well as time kung yung buong population natin ay kukuha na natin ng ating data. Kaya kumukuha lang tayo ng sample natin and sila yung magiging representative ng ating population. Yung sagot ng samples natin, sila na yung magiging sagot ng ating buong population. Ang isang tanong pagdating sa research is kapag given tayo ng population na ganito karami, ilan ba yung valid na sample size? para masabi natin na they are properly representing our population. Dito na papasok si Slovin's formula. Ito yung formula natin. We have n is equal to capital N is over 1 plus n e squared. Using this formula, makukumpute natin yung ating small letter n, yung ating sample size, kapag meron tayong total population, tapos mag-aalat tayo ng ating margin of error. Kasi sa totoong buhay, when it comes to statistics, wala naman tayong ideal na situation. Kaya tayo naglalagay ng ating margin. Kadalasan, sa research process, ang ginagamit natin na margin of error ay 5% or 0.05. Pero hindi naman siya fixed, pwede naman siyang i-adjust depende dun sa pangangailangan ng ating study. So with this, gamitin natin tong ating formula, our Slovin's formula, dito sa ating mga example. So we have our examples here. First, we have to compute the sample size given a total population of 1,000 and a margin of error of 5%. Pagka ganitong problem, tignan muna natin kung anong meron tayo. Let us start with our given values. Kaya isulat ko siya dito para pagdating ng computation natin, dere-derecha na tayo. Kung titignan natin, we have our total population of 1,000. Kung titignan natin yung ating formula, our total population is represented by our capital letter N. Kaya isulat natin siya dito, we have our N, our total population as equal to 1,000. And then we are given with our margin of error, which is 5%. This is our variable E. Kaya isulat natin siya, we have our margin of error na E, which is 5% or in decimal, we have 0 0.05. Ito lang naman yung kailangan nating input. Now, we can solve for our sample size. Given these values, we have to solve for our sample size, which is small letter n. Then for our solution, let us just apply yung ating formula. Isulat ko siya dito. Our sample size is equal to capital letter n, total population over 1 plus total population and then margin of error squared. Ito yung formula natin as we have discussed earlier, this is the Slovin's formula. Then tuloy tayo sa ating computation para makuha natin yung ating sample size. We have our n is equal to, ang ating total population is 1,000. Then isa-substitute lang natin siya dito. So we have 1,000 and then this is all over. Tuloy tayo sa formula sa denominator, we have 1 plus. Kaya sulat din natin siya, we have our 1 plus. Tapos ang capital letter n natin, again, same, pareho sila. This is our total population of 1,000. Kaya ito ay magiging 1,000 and then times, ang susunod na part ng ating formula ay yung ating margin of error which is 0.05 and then meron siyang exponent na 2. Kaya this is 0.05 and then squared. Extend lang natin yung ating fraction line. Then kapag meron kayong 3-liner na calculator, pwede nyo na siyang isolve directly. Pero for this discussion, we will be solving it one step at a time. Unahin muna natin yung ating nasa denominator, yung ating 0.05 and then squared. Kaya isolve natin siya, isulat muna natin yung ating ibang terms. We have our sample size, this is still equal to, ang numerator natin ay 1,000 pa rin, wala tayong ginagalaw. And then this is 1 plus, we have our population of 1,000. And then, kapag kinumpute natin to using our calculator, yung ating 0.05 squared, that is just equal to 0 0.0025. This is it for this part. Extend ulit natin to. Then, ang susunod na operation naman natin ay yung multiplication natin na nandito sa baba. So, let us write down our given values again. Sample size n is just equal to 
yung ating 1,000 and then this is over 1 plus kapag kinumpute naman natin to sa ating calculator 1,000 times 0 0.0025 this is just equal to positive 2.5 medyo malapit na tayo so tuloy na lang natin dito this is equal to 1 plus 2.5 kaya itong part na to will become 1,000 over that is equal to 3.5 then finally for our last step Ang ating sample size, our small letter n, is just equal to, yung ating 1,000 divided by 3.5, this is equal to 285.71. Pero ang pinag-uusapan natin na sample size ay tao. Wala namang tao na 0.71. Kaya ang gagawin natin, we will be rounding this up. This is approximately equal to, itataas lang natin from our 285 to 286. This is our required sample size given 1,000 population and 5% margin of error. And by the way, kapag nagko-compute tayo ng ating Slovens formula, hindi tayo nag-round down. Kasi ito yung minimum number of respondents na kailangan natin. Kaya kahit na yung nakompute natin, halimbawa ay 285.24, ira-round up pa rin natin siya to 286. So, yun lang yung kailangan nating tandaan when it comes to our answer sa ating Slovens formula. Kaya sa research process natin, kapag alam na natin yung ating bilang ng samples, then we can apply yung ating sampling techniques. I prepared a separate video for that. You may just check our description para sa link. This is it for this example. Let us proceed with our second one. We have this situation. A student wants to conduct a research in school. If the school has a total number of students of 4,800, solve for the sample size needed using 5% margin of error. Same process dun sa una natin ginawa, isulat muna natin yung ating given values. Meron tayong population, capital letter N, that is just equal to 4,800. Kaya isulat natin dito, this is our 4,800. And then yung margin of error natin, we have 5%, this is our small letter E. We represent our margin of error as this, and we are given with 5% or 0.05. Ulit, ang kailangan nating isolve ay yung ating sample size which is our small letter n. Then to solve, gamitin lang natin yung ating formula as our solution. We start with our sample size is equal to our total population n is over 1 plus total population times the square of our margin of error. Then, isulat natin yung ating given values dito. Ang population natin ay 4,800, kaya siya yung ipapalit natin dito. Kaya, isulat natin siya. We have our 4,800. This is all over. Sundan natin yung formula. Meron tayong 1 plus and then total population ulit na 4,800. Tapos, ang susunod ay yung square ng ating margin of error which is 0.05. Kaya, this is also 0.05. 0.5 and then squared. Now, kailangan na lang natin siyang i-compute. So, this is equal to same numerator. Wala muna tayong gagalawin. Huli na siya. We have our 4,800. Tapos, perform natin yung ating 0.05 squared. Kaya, ito ay magiging 1 plus 4,800. Tapos, yung ating 0.05 squared. Kapag kinumpute natin sa ating calculator, that is 0.00. To 5. Then extend natin to. Tapos let us perform our multiplication here. Basic operations lang naman ang ginagamit natin and meron naman tayong calculator. Kaya this is equal to, still, numerator is 4,800. Tapos yung denominator natin is 1 plus yung ating 4,800 times 0 0.0025. This is just equal to 12. Napahaba yung ating fraction line. So, ayusin lang natin yung ating numerator. Isulat natin sa taas yung ating 4,800. Then, this is equal to yung ating 4,800, i-divide natin dun sa denominator natin na 1 plus 12. This is simply 13. Then, kapag pinindot na natin to sa ating calculator, we have our 4,800 over 13. Our n is just equal to 369.23 or approximately Sabi nga natin kanina, mag-round up tayo. This is equal to 370. Ito yung kailangan natin na sample size. 
kapag meron tayong population na 4,800, tapos ang margin of error natin ay 5%. And ganito lang gamitin yung ating Slovens formula para makompute natin yung required sample size given our population and margin of error.